to sit, it's called undertow. If she were to say, I'm leaving, he would be unable to say how he suffered the loss. It would pass over him like a wave with a smack, leaving him drenched but alive. Then, gradually, in the inevitable cross-current of memory, he feels the undertow. He imagines he sees her clothes everywhere, strewn about, and misses her at her mirror, one woman weighing another. Where is her voice racing from one room to the next, or splashing against the morning's light? He almost hears her stamping her feet up the stairs and banging doors shut. He looks carefully but fails to find her asleep on the bedspread, her dress bunched up, her legs draped out and crossed, her face tilted backward, stolen away to childhood. 